I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough. Because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff, like... I'll always have your back, or I'm glad I'm not alone, or to be honest, I'll say anything so you'll hang up the phone, because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. And these Doctor Who bot sets aren't going to watch themselves. I want to say I love you, but it seems it's not enough. Because when people say I love you, it can mean a lot of stuff. And all I'm really trying to say is... I want to love you like a T-Rex with a tiny brain but a massive heart. And if I was a T-Rex, I could hold you in my T-Rex arms and protect you from harm, because that's dinosaur love. It's the way he sends spines down my spine like a stegosaurus. Or how, just like dinosaurs, no one cares what came before us. Because we've got a love so big it cannot be ignored. Like if you're with a dinosaur, everything else seems secondary. Dinosaurs are not mythical creatures, they are legendary. Plus, they're just really cool. The thing with dinosaurs is, dinosaurs are kind of awesome. More than that, they actually existed. Yes, my love is real. I ain't talking blindly walking strings attached like Theseus. That's mine at all, love. But this, this is dinosaur love. There is no damsel in distress, trap princess, dragon slaying quest. Because one, dragons never happened. And two, most women don't need rescuing. This is dinosaur love. Molten rocket meteoric, trust me, I've got a love so old school it's prehistoric. I want to say I love you, but it seems that's not enough. Because actually, like dinosaurs, that could be quite... SCARY! <laughs> Imagine hiding in the kitchen from a velociraptor pack. If I stuck my neck out like a diplodocus, what would you do back? I want to say I love you, but that might be awkward. So instead, I'm happy to let that stay in my head, where it cannot go wrong. If, as time goes on and my dino love dies out, as you'd expect when it's extinct, I'd rather we remain friends than became exes. But if somehow, against the odds, my dino love proves so colossal that it stands the test of time, perfectly preserved like a fossil, then one day, when you've been left in ruins and need someone to help excavate them, then it won't take an archaeological expert to point you towards me. And at that point, I'll point out that you're like a Brachiosaurus because there's no one above you. And I'll be able to look you in the eyes and say, 